Good afternoon, fellow YouTube Raxians, followers of the Rax antics and such. Today, we're going to look at my fence that's going around pigs and chickens, other things, and gardens, whatever. It's a big circle. Um, 220 feet diameter, yeah, diameter, about six, seven hundred feet around. Two gates. It's going to have this personnel horse gate there. It's mounted, and um, it also will have over here. You can probably see part of it from there. Um, yeah, that's a 12 foot gate. 12 foot? No, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Let me lie. That's a 10 foot gate. That's a 10 foot gate. And, uh, yeah. We mounted that uh, a couple weeks ago. Jeff and I built some holes, put some wood in the ground, put this here chain on here. It's nice. Practice the fly gate. It's pretty cool. Opens up. Everything's nice right now. So we'll just lock it back up. I did kind of a, a raxy, excuse me there. Sort of a rack style lock there and make the chain long enough. Chain lock long enough. So but that's kind of cute. Everything's all kind of cut out with a chainsaw and put together with wires. Now this side, the wires aren't done yet. But this side is wired up, cross braced, and uh, the fence kind of comes out, as you can see. Kind of makes a V in out of the, so the circle will kind of go out that way. And way out there, all the way back around. That chicken coop's gonna get moved into the center. And ultimately, this thing's going to have somewhere between four and six sections. There'll be a uh, circle in the middle that's about 45 feet in diameter, the chicken coop, and a little building that will be in there to hold grain and such. Whatever, you know, egg cartons. And then um, the sawmill will get moved. Yeah, and then over here will be a, just a little shade shady area. I don't know if I'm going to put, like, I don't know what I'm going to put in there. I might just park a lawnmower under it or something. But that'll be a shady area. And then you can see this gate again. So, I will continue working on this. And the next thing, of course, is to take this fence and go all the way around the circle. So I got the little the two gates and the little piece between them. That's done. But the next thing is that big giant circle. And then we'll move the chicken coop and build the little circle. And then I'm thinking some spokes coming out. But not necessarily like six even slices of pie. I'm thinking they will be different sizes with this front one being the biggest. Haven't decided all that yet. They'll have to. But I want to get the pigs in there because they're getting a little frisky. Well, it's almost time for them to hardly be frisky at all, if you know what I mean. So, but I still want to get them in into the cage here, or the, not the cage, but the, this is a huge pen. This is like three quarters of an acre. They all love it in here. And, um, and the chickens, of course, too. Now, the chickens, they'll come out, you know, that fence won't stop them. But it'll slow them down. And by slowing them down, you kind of keep the herd together inside. That's a pretty cool deal. So, I'm not worried about a chicken getting out because they'll scavenge and eat bugs and you know do chicken stuff that's all good but they always go back to their cage so that's good too and we are transitioning to ducks we have about i don't know how many chickens we have anymore bunch we have i don't know maybe 30 chickens and i think we have well we have 11 white ducks and about five i think muskogee ducks between my neighbor and i his come visit sometimes and um we might have what we call brown duck which is like a mallard but we need brown duck needs to have a, uh, a little friend so you can start a little brown duck club if you know what i mean and uh they'll all be happy in here and anyway 
as you can tell it's changed into winter here in northwest florida we get about 10 days of fall and then it goes straight into winter so that's probably what we're having right now god bless y'all